Hey everybody, it's Clonaclux999. Welcome back to the Clona Network. You wanna know why I'm so excited? Well, let's turn on this Game Boy Advance game and see. Yep, it's a Metroid game. Now you know why I'm so excited. Even though technically this was the fifth game, fifth Metroid game released, this game came out one day after Metroid Prime did. There's the hunter ship with our favorite, with our favorite bounty hunter in it. Whoa, am I in control? Oh, okay, I'm not. Oh boy. What happened? Oh whatever. Oh wow, this is a remix of the soup of the Super Metroid title music, but we're playing Metroid Fusion. And I gotta say, I was really excited for this one. And if the freaking controller would stop disconnecting, I'm using my Game Boy Advance SP as a controller. I'm, of course, going to get rid of these. Of course, I'm going to get rid of these, uh, files. How do I do that? Select? How do you delete files? Ah, eh, whatever, I'll just start this new one right here. Oh, that's how you do it. I've been assigned to watch over the biologic research team. Oh yeah, I heard uh, SR388 makes a- Yeah, SR388, I heard SR388 was in this game and that, and that got me really excited because I love Metroid 2. More bounty hunters? When's the last time we saw more than just Samus as a bounty hunter in Metroid's game? What the hey? Oh my goodness. It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. You encounter a lot of life forms you've never encountered before. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we know it, we now know as X. Unaware of my condition, I was I was returning to the at a station when disaster struck. Once the X had infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, this is... This is deep. Yeah, I heard something about parasites in Metroid. I mean, I knew the Metroids were kind of parasites, but... The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. Biologics vessels recovered it and transported me to the Galactic Federation HQ. Metroid Prime Federation forces. However, during the journey, the X multiplied with corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to the to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so inter integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed, traumatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X in my central nervous systems were too embedded to, embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Oh, now I can kind of see why it's called Metroid Fusion. Then someone found a cure. <gasps> the Metroids? They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. Also, this confirms that it takes place after Super Metroid. Well, at least Metroid 2. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. Oh. 
the X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. Poor Samus. What happened? Oh, her suit. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived, reborn, as something different. Oh my goodness. I did hear something about, like, the fusion suit. Um, cause, like, Metroid Prime, uh, said something about, play, if you, once you've completed Metro, uh, Metroid Prime, you can be, you can connect your ZB, or not ZB, <laughs> thinking of B goes on for Mario Party 3. Well, you can connect your GBA and you can play Metroid Prime with Samus' fusion suit. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid hatchling my life twice over. Okay, it does take place after Super Metroid. Soon, it will soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. The ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the biological space. Bio Logic Space Labs or BSL research station during my surgery the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there as well as the infected pieces of my power suit after regaining consciousness I learned that an, un an unexplained explosion rocked the station for some reason this awoke a nameless fear in my heart and now I am being sent there to event investigate my mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer following the commands of this blunt Computerized CO is something I have to bear, but as long, but it was con a condition of my taking for the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, the second time I found myself having to do so, it makes me recall my other CO. What was that? Is that like a... Uh... Oh, that's the BSL thing. Nice new hire ship you got there. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules. It's adding continue recent samples from SR388 as well as parts of your suit infected by the X parasites. The cause of the explosion is yet unclear. Investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use your Latin abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop the navigation room. Is your objective clear? Yes. Oh boy. Start using the mat. Okay, that's, the controls are virtually the same as in a. Uh, the controls are virtually the same as in a uh, Super Metroid. But I can't seem to aim down aim down diagonally. Oh. Like I'm holding L and it's doing that, but I can't do it when holding R. And it's kind of funny because I think R was what made you aim up in Super Metroid. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to head to the quarantine bay. Um, I'm kind of scared. Then again, I was kind of scared at the beginning of Super Metroid as well. That looks like a missile door. Oh, you can grab on the ledges now? That is so cool. Okay, so... I guess as I'm going through here, I just want to say for the record, I actually want to try to... Oh, hold on, there's an N right here. A navigation room? 
Okay, I can see where I'm supposed to go. While we're doing this, um, I do want to explore a little bit. I can't go back, are you kidding me? I do want to explain in one thing real quick. I'm scared. No, actually, I, I want to say real quick. I heard, um, I saw, I heard Metroid Fusion creates fear. Like, Metro the first four, well, uh, uh, the first three Metroid games, uh, on excluding Prime. I saw videos on how they create dread, but I also, but I heard Metroid Fusion creates fear, which I'm kind of excited about. I mean, I'm kind of, kind of see because there's a light flashing in. Um, I don't have the morph ball. Um, for this, this game, by the way, I actually, for my first playthrough, I want to try to not use a walkthrough or anything. Because, like, for basically the first four Metroid games, um, I didn't, I pretty much had somebody, um, like, holding my hands. Oh, here we, oh, here we are. Uh, my way, th my way, th most of my way through. But this time, I kind of want to do this on my own. Like, Oh god, it's that thing that had the X thing in it. Oh crap, no, 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 no. Uh. I, I probably shouldn't have killed it, actually. Okay, I'm at the quarantine bay, what now? Oh, I thought I couldn't get out. Oh, is it getting darker? Um, I'm kind of scared. What? Was I supposed to like do something with that creature? didn't respawn. Did I just release X into the building? I'm gonna go, oops. I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna see if I can, uh, if there's a way I haven't gone yet. It's gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, it's gonna take me some time to get used to, uh, used to the fact that now I can grab on the ledges. I just think that's so cool. Wait, hold on. Okay. I was thinking I could... Well, why can't I get go out this way? What? Oh god, what's going on? The specimen- the specimen's brought back by, by the field team were infected by- No! Oh, oh, I thought- I, th I thought I was talking about the team. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. For the explosion, a security center enter scan one. The general element is X. Parasites invade and rapidly produce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA. Oh my own. The Metroid vaccine saved our lives. It seems the Metroids were the main. The Metroids were the main predators of X. So that's why that that's why it works so quickly. Selling your makeup? Oh, okay. Well, at least now I know I can't be infected by it again. It's like the chicken box. You can now absorb any free floating X paradise without a ho without a host by merely touching them. This will allow you to replenish health and restore X is my health restoration? Because in the first three games it's just like energy cells. Oh my. Oh no. This is- I can't believe I'm actually feeling fear from a Game Boy Advance game. Let's go.
Wow, you jump real low in this game. So... Okay. Ooh, a save room. Okay, I thought that's what the S meant. Glad... Glad this game, this game's battery isn't dead. So they can support you with downloadable weapons and data. Okay, so like missiles and like super missiles are like um, computers and stuff like that. I thought, hey, I thought my target was uh, some. What is it with chance of survival? Like, who studies this crap? It's like the fact. It's like Apple Kid and Mother Two saying that guy guesses uh, chance to fail was like less than one percent. Okay, what's this R? A recharge room. Energy tank recharge complete. Okay. Well, the... I'll just save again, just to be safe. Maybe. I assume we're going to... Go, I assume the planet we're going to be on in this game is SR388. Because in NES and Super, it was ZBs. Um... Oh, actually, hold on. Yeah, I heard wall jumps were, uh... I heard wall jumps were a lot easier to master in this in this game. But I also heard that, like... Like, you know that, um... One missile tank at Super Metroid, where you have to... Um, also, Metroid Prime was Talon 4. Introduce them to... As, I, <laughs> okay, so what am I... Okay, I just totally changed age subjects there. So, in Metroid 1 and Super Metroid, it was, we were on ZBs. In Metroid 2, we were on SR388. In Metroid Prime, we were on uh, Tal Talon 4. I assume in this game, we're going to be on SR388 too. Considering uh, this game is about SR388. Then we got 10 missiles. I love that sound effect. I like it better in Super Metroid, though. Okay, and, and the other thing I'm talking about. Uh, I heard, uh... I heard, um... Uh, wall jumping was, was easy, is easier to do, and, uh... In uh, this game, but and then it wasn't Super Metroid. But in Super Metroid, it wasn't necessarily required to do. Um, I go. I want to play that uh, rotation hack I heard about though. Yeah, and also there was a missile tank. Uh, can I maybe go down? Oh, R is the missiles now. That doesn't make sense. Well, it's, all, it's always been select. Now, you know that uh, missile tank in Super Metroid where you got a shine spark, like, through a door? I heard, uh, 
that was done in this game as well, but a bit too much, at least according to Slim Kirby. Um, turn the wall jump because it's kind of fun. I'll forget it. Oh, right. Missiles. Door. Wait, I can't get up there, though. Aha! How does X restore my missiles? And I can climb walls now. It kind of reminds me of Mega Man in a way. Missile tank! So you start... So when you get the missiles, you get ten. But the missile tanks in this game are, are uh... Five. Whereas in Metroid 2, they were, uh... Ten missiles. Is Metroid 2 the only game where missile tanks actually give you ten and... Is it? Oh, oh boy, uh, geez. Oh my goodness. Like, geez, I keep hitting select out of habit. Oh, only when it's pupil showing is when you can shoot it. And I can't seem to... I'm low on energy. This is... What? How did I die? Well, I didn't get to see what was beyond that door. You know what? I'm just going to stop the video here. But I got to say, I'm super excited to play this. Hope you guys enjoyed this Clone Network video, and be sure to let me know games I should get for my Game Boy Advance.